was there hesitation on your part to say, just, you know, I can't go through this again, you know? Uh, it crossed my mind for sure that, well, look, my response to my children is the highest responsibility I have. So what's the deal with Ben Affleck and dating women named Jennifer? Well, I guess we will never know. But what we do know is that Ben and Jennifer Lopez are once again heavily in love with each other. And maybe they never fell out of love even while dating other people. Still, before Ben took the leap to date Jennifer Lopez again for the second time, he understandably hesitated a lot. But what was the exact reason for this? Well, this video has everything we know so far about the relationship between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez and all the details surrounding their rekindled romance. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number 5. Meeting the Jennifers According to the Batman star, the biggest reason why Ben Affleck hesitated to date Jennifer Lopez again for the second time is his kids. Yes, Ben Affleck has three kids that he plans to dedicate a huge part of his life to, as much as he can. But how did he get there? We'll have to start this story from the top, how the pair fell in love and eventually got married. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner met in the summer of 2000 on the set of Pearl Harbor, but it wasn't until their reunion on the set of Daredevil just two years later that the pair truly fell in love. The craziest part is that they were both in relationships. At the time, Jennifer Garner was married to Scott Foley, while Ben Affleck was engaged to Jennifer Lopez. Many people had already started to suspect that there was something more between Ben and Jennifer Garner, and that suspicion only grew when viewers noticed a hint of attraction on Dinner for Five in January 2003. Of course, they both denied that there was anything going on between them. Number 4. The Mysterious Breakups Things took an interesting turn a few months later when Jennifer Garner and Scott announced that they were separating. Pretty much no one saw that coming, or maybe some people did. However, Scott insisted that no one else was involved in their separation, and they were both ready to leave the relationship. They filed for a divorce in May 2003 and the separation became official. Meanwhile, things weren't going so great for the other Jennifer as well. A little more than six months later, J. Lo and Ben Affleck made the shocking announcement that they had called off their engagement, and it was all downhill from there. In October 2004, Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck felt they didn't have to hide their relationship status from the world anymore and made their first public appearance as a couple. Then they had a super private wedding ceremony in June 2005 with only four people in attendance. Their first daughter arrived in December 2005, the second in January 2009, and then a son in February 2012. Unfortunately, in June 2015, the lovely couple announced their divorce amidst a cheating scandal involving Ben Affleck. The divorce became official and final in October 2018. As you all know, Ben dated some other women in between until JLo made their rekindled relationship Instagram official in July 2021. Now that you're all caught up, let's talk about why Ben Affleck spent a while weighing his decision to date Jennifer Lopez for the second time. Number 3. Ben Affleck's Responsibility to His Kids Well, the first time Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck met up, none of them had any extra baggage that could be a potential wrench in their relationship. However, this changed when they met up for the second time. On Ben's end, he had three kids from his ex-wife, while JLo had twin girls from her failed marriage as well. So with the fate of five children resting on the decision of their parents, Ben really considered staying back to make his marriage to Jennifer Garner work. Doing right by his three children has been the driving force of his life, and it crossed his mind to stay back as long as it wasn't painful or destructive to them. Of course, Ben has always been aware of how his life, especially as a Hollywood celebrity, affects his children. He once talked about how he dropped his son off at school and everyone around started screaming his name. As if this wasn't hard enough, there was a lot of negative publicity surrounding the divorce, including stories that Ben claims are completely false. He claims that the media printed a lot of lies during the divorce, especially about him cheating with a nanny who he took to Las Vegas. However, Ben insists that they took their time to make the decision and it wasn't only a marriage between two people that eventually grew apart. 
They tried so much to stay together because of the kids, but felt that forcing things would only give their children a wrong view of marriage. So Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck decided that the best decision was to split as amicably as possible. Of course, on our end, we didn't see it as a quiet divorce as we took front row seats on the tension, battle for custody, and overall anger that accompanies a lot of divorce processes. Still, it all turned out okay in the end, as they have come up with a plausible co-parenting plan. Number 2. Trying to be a good dad Meanwhile, one of Ben's greatest weaknesses was the bottle, as he struggled heavily with alcoholism. Even while he was still married to Jennifer Garner, his children had to witness his lowest point, and this is what encouraged him to seek professional help. Luckily for him, Ben hit the point of getting a cure before he lost what he considered most important to him, his relationship with his children. The good news is that Ben got all the help he needed and has finally let go of his alcohol addiction. Now his efforts are concentrated on keeping his relationship with his new girlfriend going without losing the important connection he has to his kids. Ever since Ben and JLo rekindled their romance, the pair have gone out multiple times with their kids. One time, they were seen with both JLo's twins, Max and M, and his three children. Jennifer Lopez had the children from her ex-husband, Mark Anthony, with whom she also fell apart. Apparently, Ben Affleck is not the only one that Jennifer Lopez dated on two separate occasions. She initially met her ex-husband, Mark Anthony, in 1998 at a Madison Square Garden concert. However, it was only a brief relationship, and they even collaborated on a song together. Eventually, they both married other people, Mark Anthony to Daenerys Torres in 2000 and Jennifer Lopez to Chris Judd in 2001. Obviously, both marriages ended in a divorce, and then JLo went ahead to date Ben Affleck, with who she got engaged. By 2004, Mark and Jennifer were reunited once again, with JLo honestly believing that they were going to end up together forever. Then in February 2008, they had their twins, and everything looked really rosy. In almost every interview, Jennifer Lopez talked about how much she was enjoying her married life because they had a deep respect and admiration for each other. They even launched a lifestyle line together in 2011. In a surprising turn of events, the couple announced the same year that they would be ending their marriage. There were rumors that Mark cheated, but of course, he denied all of them. Finally, the divorce was official in June 2014, while they still continued to work together as friends and business partners. Just like Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez is pretty passionate about co-parenting with her ex-husband. Still, according to the superstar actress, it's set in stone that she would never reunite with Mark, and that's even more definite now that she's dating Ben Affleck. However, we know that you can't truly predict celebrities nowadays. Anything is possible. So with both Ben and JLo, it's a perfect match. Who better to understand your situation than someone going through the same thing too? Since they are both united on the need to keep their relationship with their children stronger than ever, they are willing to share their lives as parents together. Number 1. Putting together a plan Ben and JLo have talked about their plans to take solo trips and spend several holidays together with their kids. Since the plan is to be together as often as possible, the next big thing is hosting Christmas and Thanksgiving with them. If you belong to a large family, you can already imagine the chaos and confusion that accompanies holding a huge family dinner. Of course, Ben and JLo are aware of this, but are still willing to figure it out. Sources close to the celebrity couple say that they are doing a fantastic job as they keep looking forward to the holidays. Meanwhile, they are still using every opportunity they get to show their affection for each other at several events. Although they don't say much about their relationship details, they are never short on public displays of affection. Regardless, it looks like it's going to be a very busy couple of years for the duo. So do you believe that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez have what it takes to make their relationship work this time around? You can let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others that we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos. And also click that notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Check out this related video to see more. I'll see you in the next video.